good afternoon, good evening, whenever it is you see this, I am Steve from Corsair Trainers. Today we're going to talk about a little book review and if you've been following us along for a while you know we don't do too many reviews but I thought this book was worthy of a review. And which book are we talking about? It's The Gorilla's Guide to the Baofeng Radio by NC Scout. For you guys that are on the YouTubes, you've probably seen people talk about this book. I've seen enough people talk about it, and old Alpha Charlie Concept said it, and kept saying it, and kept saying it, so finally I went and bought it, and I read it, and I gotta say, it's a good book. And why do I say it's a good book? Because it gives you what it says it's gonna give you, unlike some other materials that you see out there in the, in the internets and everywhere else. This book says that it's going to talk about uh, the Baofeng Radio, and comprehensive volume on not just operating one of the most common radios in the world, but understanding the operational practices for austere environments, including tactical and clandestine considerations. <gasps> with chapters on communication, planning, improvised antennas for the common materials, digital operations, and encryption. And it does exactly that. So we gotta say, this is a good book. It gives you what it says it's gonna do. And I could probably just end the review right there. But we won't just end right there. Nah, cause there's more, sham wow. Uh, I think it's a really good place to start. Even as the back of the book says, if you've been doing it for a while, it's a good reminder. If you're kind of eating intermediary, it tells you some other stuff you might want to look into. But what I think this book really uh, is good for is for brand new folks, just getting started, just picking up a radio, just trying to figure out something to do with radios if they were in you know certain situations. This would be a good starting spot for an individual and or a group. And of course, we have to say, you know, a few things that aren't just glow, glowing and, and rainbows and sunshines. Um, one thing about the book that I thought they could touch on a little bit more was the home base, the base camp, the uh, patrol base kind of thing, wherever, wherever home is, if you're ever in one of these situations, um, and how to use the radios there and how everybody, you know, they, they should stay off the radio if they don't need to be on there and stuff like that. I think I think it could have touched on the, uh, hold on, I gotta find how they term it. Oh, here we go. So the three roles of communications, the one sustainment. I think the, the in this book, the way they discuss sustainment or whatever, I think that needs to be covered a little bit more, the whole home base kind of thing and who actually needs a radio on the home base and that kind of stuff. Because if you're actually in, you know, certain kind of situations, the tail is always longer than the tooth. So just uh, just to hit on it a little bit more. Other, Don't get me wrong, it's great. I just think they need to add a little bit more on there. And then just one more little subject I thought they needed to touch on a little bit more on the tactical side of the house was who in the team, they say, you know, who has radios or whatever, but they also should have covered how don't use the radio for everything, even if everything's going south, hand and arm signals, yelling at people. That should be your primary communications instead of trying to get on the radio because then you get people to get on the radio too much and they talk over other people and or they key the mic and forget or the mic gets blocked in their gear and you have to have that secondary or actually what should be your primary means of communication once things start going crazy. And then to bring this back around to happy joy, 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 how do I know that uh, NC Scout here, although even though it says right here, NC Scout is a former member of one of the US military special reconnaissance units, and he's the owner of Bush Beater Training and Consulting. How do I know he's done this in real life? Because he explained the talk. And in the explanation of the talk, he mentioned items that you need. You gotta have maps, you gotta have a way of having reports, and this is how you know he's done it for reals. He said you needed a coffee pot. Mm. That's how you know somebody's been there and done that. All right, so again, just tie it all together. The Gorilla's Guide to the Baofeng Radio, I recommend it. I think it's a good starting place for everybody. If I remember, I will put a link down in the description, but we all know I forget. And as always, stay safe. <laughs>